Welcome back guys. In the previous lecture we have seen how to add the static data which is belongs to the rooms data into the MongoDB collection. So in this lecture we are going to see how to fetch the details of the rooms which are present in the MongoDB using the Node.js. So first of all we have to create the express router in our backend because with the help of express router only we are going to create the routes. So in the Node.js terminal I am going to install the express router npm install router so just need to type router you need not to type express router press enter so it will install the router package in our express.js as well as the node.js so we can use for that for creating the routes so i will restart the server using the command nodemon server press enter So in the main folder, I am going to create a new folder which is called as the roots. In this roots, I am going to create the first file rooms root. In this rooms root file, we are going to write all the API endpoints which are belongs to the room. That means getting all the rooms, posting rooms, updating room, deleting room and check the availability of the room, all the things. So th in this route, we are going to write only the endpoints of the rooms. First of all, we are going to import the express as well as the router. I am going to use the snippet. Express router, where is it? Yeah. First we have to import the express, const express is equal to require express. Then we have to create the router package, const router is equal to router express dot router. And now I'm going to import the MongoDB uh, room model into this rooms root because we are going to fetch the data of the rooms. Const room equal to require single colons. In this you have to write collection uh, that uh, location of the room model dot dot slash models slash room that's it now i am going to create our first api endpoint which is used to fetch all the details of the rooms i'll write router dot get and the endpoint name is get all rooms and i am going to write this endpoint as async await functions so i am going to use the async keyword here because we are going to use the try catch blocks so it will save our time. I'm going to write const rooms equal to await room dot find. That's it. So in this parenthesis, you just need to uh, pass an empty object. That means zero conditions. Control S. So it will bring all the rooms which are present in the MongoDB. So here this room is nothing but the model which we have written in the previous lectures. So in these rooms we are having all the details. So it may sometimes it may generate some errors. That's the reason we have to put this statement in the try catch blocks to avoid that errors. So copy this statement and write try catch blocks. Try catch and paste that statement in the try and here I'm going to write response dot status or you can write response dot success so it will generate data data is equal to rooms or you can directly send the rooms object only that's it if it is having any error we have to send the error response return response dot status is equal to 400 and the mirror uh, message is equal to just directly send the error only control s now we have to export this router because we have to use this in the server dot js it is the entry point of our node application module dot expose is equal to module dot exports equal to router Control S. Now let's go to the server.js and import the rooms route. Const 
rooms route equal to require let's check whether it is the correct location or not dot slash route slash rooms route now I am going to create the access for this rooms route so whenever the API URL is coming with the keyword I am going to write app dot use API slash rooms so it will go and check the endpoints in rooms route rooms route control s that's it so we have successfully created our first API endpoint which fetches all the rooms in our database so to check this you can use the postman or you can directly use the Google Chrome browser only so in the Google Chrome browser we can use only get request because we cannot perform the post request in the URL so I will use the postman so with the help of postman we can check before it is before implementing in the uh, react side so if it is working fine in the postman we can easily implement in the react side so instead of wasting time in the react js to check whether the api is working or not it is a waste of time so that's the reason whenever you are having whenever you do not have any confidence about the api endpoints first implement that apis in the postman so you your time wastage will be small so here i am going to create our project so I hope you already having the idea about this postman so it's just a normal client to perform the API operations rename I will write share rooms so right click on it click on add request so here you need to pass the URL so copy this localhost 3000 paste it so our backend route is localhost 5000 I think so let me check the port yeah localhost 5000 slash API slash sorry I have written SPI slash API slash rooms slash our endpoint name our endpoint name is get all rooms get all rooms that's it now I am going to send it here you can see we got all the rooms first we got an object so in that object we got the rooms array so in this rooms array we are having everything so to avoid this object you can replace the response dot send statement so where is it is rooms dot uh, rooms root so instead of this response dot json you just write response dot send response dot send rooms so it is simple Control S. Now let's perform the action once again. Send. Here you can see. Now we got only one array. So we do not have any rooms object, all those stuff, etc. So we have an array. In that array, we have the rooms objects. So our first API created successfully. Now with the help of this API, we are going to fetch these details to the front end and we are going to design our home page in the next lecture. Thank you.